Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm doing my very first story time video, and I want to make this a series on my channel. So if you want a story time series on my channel, give this video to 20 thumbs up, and I will start doing that and do more story times for you guys. So I actually got this idea off of Natalia Taylor and her YouTube channel will be linked in the description box below. She actually lives near me, which I found that out yesterday, so that's amazing. So make sure you go and subscribe to her channel because she does like her whole channel is basically story times and she's really cool and I just got inspiration off of her so I decided to give her a little bit of credit so make sure you go subscribe to our channel and be linked in the description box below and let's just get started with this. So this story time is going to be more of a like legit professional story time and I will also do like in between story times here and there but this one's just more of professional I guess but it's interesting for those of you who support me and who want to see me grow bigger this is an interesting video and you guys should seriously keep watching. I need to get myself home, home. Please stop, Haley. Okay, so beginning of the story, um, basically, I was on Instagram and I found this Instagram page. And it's like a beauty pageant Instagram page. And I follow them because I'm into that kind of like modeling stuff. So I'm gonna show you the page. The this is the page. Focus, focus on the there, that's the page, and they got pictures and they're official and everything okay so when i was on there i clicked on the link in their bio just because it took me to their website so then i got on my laptop to go to the link because it's easier through a laptop than a little phone like this and um so i was looking at their stuff and they seemed pretty legit they were really professional and it's a it says in their bio it's a Runway style pageant for young women ages 7 to 27 specializing in modeling and acting and they have one in Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. I live in Ohio and I saw that they were having one in Toledo, Ohio, which is just like 45 minutes away from I, where I live. And I'm like, this is a big opportunity because looking at their Instagram, these girls get to travel and do a lot of cool stuff, meet celebrities if they win the title. And so the title I'm going for this year is Miss Teen Ohio. So please pray for me. Hopefully I do good. But let me tell you why I just said I was entering. Um, basically, about an hour after... I'm looking at their registration page and I and I scroll down, I fill out everything at the top, like my name and basic stuff like that, and I go down and then it says I have to pay a $65 fee and I immediately clicked out because I don't like asking people for money, even if it's my own parents, and that shocks many people because I do it all the time, honestly, but when it comes to stuff like this, I just did not want to ask and I don't like paying fees and just stuff like that i'm like okay like maybe i just raise my own money next year because the pageant is this saturday and sunday it's this weekend so i'm like i don't have enough time for that so i just clicked out then i get a notification of instagram that this page messages me so they must have like saw that i started following them and she said hi Haley, are you interested in competing so i reply yes actually i've been i've always been interested the only thing holding me back would be the money problems i'm sure i could talk my dad into it but i never know and at this time i'm just trying to be like open about it and not look like I'm afraid to ask my dad for money. It wasn't that, it was just I don't like to. Then I say, I have taken classes at John Casablanca's in Toledo as well. I am so driven to do it and I'm a very, very hard worker when it comes to being a representative. The only problem is I know there is fees. And the next thing she says is the timing really just had me shaking. I was shaking and crying. Like I ran downstairs and I'm like, mom, I'm freaking out. And I just explained to her everything and God's timing is so perfect and I have a reason to be at this pageant this weekend. There's a reason why I'm going to be there and she says, okay, well we have one spot open to compete. We had a contestant drop out last minute and they paid for their fee and can't do it. Would you like to take their place? And I immediately said, oh my goodness, I'll most definitely take their place. And if you don't understand, on their page it says about 5 million times that they give no refund. So this girl had to do something the day of the pageant so she had to drop out where they had to keep her money because there's no refund. Friends, and so they had a spot open for somebody else so I get to do this big amazing experience and beauty pageant all for free and whoever that girl is who dropped out um she probably won't even watch my youtube channel but like what are the chances um literally I hope you get to join next year because yeah well after I agreed to taking the spot they said okay the pageant is this Saturday and Sunday in Toledo then they gave me their website they told me to click on the registration and fill out the registration page once completed, we will send you over the contestants page and handbook, which I'll show you at the end of this video through my laptop. And basically, hold on, somebody's calling me. Where's my Hello? 
What? Hey. What? It's time to eat. Okay, Briley told me that. Oh, well, I got your pot pie out, but I didn't smash it up. Because then it, it'll be warm when you get down here. Okay, I'll be down there. Bye. Bye. So basically, that's basically all. I fill out everything. Everything is good to go. Um, the application sent in, and then I get an email. And it literally says that I already paid the sixty-five dollars. So like, they legit were being serious. And I went to the contestants page, which I will show you guys now. Also, I didn't tell you guys that the contestants page you have to have. They have to like email you the password to it. It's locked. It's only for the contestants only. So in case you guys are wondering that, I mean that might be helpful information. So this like part of the video is gonna be like a vlog because I'm like holding my camera instead of on my tripod. So just bear with me on the quality of it. So I'm sorry if this part is shaky because I'm just holding it, but this is the website. It is called www.magpageant.org and you click on contestants page right here and as you can see, it is literally locked and I have to put in my passcode. Password, sorry. And here is where you get all of the information from, the handbook, the bio thing that you have to fill out and turn in, and your schedule. And it just has all the legit information so you guys know like I'm legit in this. I'm not just like playing around with you guys because I signed in to the contestants page as you saw was also locked. So I actually have to read the freaking handbook. Um, I didn't even do that. It's not letting me click on it though. Oh, this is the handbook. Okay, all right, I see, I see. I'm done. So it is late at night and I had to go to church so I did not end up finishing filming this, but this is the same video, just a different timing, same day and everything. But I'm gonna be taking off my makeup with these, all my makeup removing wipes and I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about the rest of the stuff I was saying. So basically, somebody asked me the other day, like, how do I not care what people think about me anymore? And it does take time. You have to really grow in yourself. And it's really hard at first, honestly. Um, like, what people say about you basically represents you. What people label you, that's what other people see. And the rumors, they fly. People can hear about them. And Basically, it takes a long time, but you just got to remember that you have to do this for yourself. Um, some girl should have told me that um, this beauty page I'm entering is a scam, and I immediately texted the people like off the Instagram page that I showed you guys, and I'm like, I just screenshotted what the girl said. She basically said it was a scam. It was like a sex trafficking thing, and that she got something in the mail from their program, and it came out as a scam, and then... Um, the girl immediately replied, you know, the manager of this pageant, she goes, we don't even send stuff in the mail. And to me, it felt like that the person who messaged me was just doing it so that I wouldn't go to this pageant and I wouldn't succeed because people don't like to see me succeed. I realize when I'm depressed and I'm not doing good, people just kind of leave me alone and they stop caring. But when I'm happy and I'm succeeding and I'm going far in my life, that's when people start to bully me more and start to hate on me more. and. It's just obvious that, um, you know, they're jealous or they're just mad that somebody's succeeding in life and they're not. So just, I wanted you to keep that in mind that it's gonna be hard not caring what other people think of you, but you gotta do it for yourself and for your mental health and just for your physical health either sometimes. So I just wanted to inform them. And okay, last thing, I legit promise, I'm sorry if this video gets a little lengthy, um, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, like the stuff I, have that I printed out from my contestants page. So I have the schedule and basically um, it starts this Saturday at eight in the morning till 8.30 is a check-in. And then 8.30 to nine is the orientation for people who have not attended in the past, which I will be going to. Um, and then my teen interview is for 11 to 12. And then the optionals go through and then the contestant video is shot at four to five, which is a contestant video that just plays at the actual thing. And then there we have a little pageant activity at 5.30 and it doesn't have like an ending time, which is just where all the contestants get together and like do an activity and we bond. And then the actual pageant day, which is Sunday, September 25th, 2000, September 25th, 20, 
September 25th, 2016, um, breakfast is 6.30 to 9.30, and then that's for the contestants that stay at the Hampton Inn Hotel. And then the Ohio Theater is where this is actually located in Toledo, Ohio. And the rehearsals for all contestants is 11 to 2, and then doors open for the pageant at 3.30. Pageant begins at 4, contestant introductions, which is probably where they're gonna show the video, I'm guessing is 4.05 to 4.10, and then Top Model Contestants Showcase and Awards, 4.10 to 4.20. Top, actri top Actress Contestants Showcase and Awards is 4.25 to 4.35. Contestants Model Wear is 4.55 to 5.10. Contestants Evening Wear is 5.20 to 5.45, and we have a break during 3.45 to 4.10. Yeah, I don't know, that does not seem right, but whatever. And then the awards, farewell and crowning is 510 to a six. So that's literally my, it says the 2017 Ohio slash Indiana Amazing Girl and Miss Pageant. So that's that. And then I have my bag checklist and then I have my Q&A format to turn it at check-in. And to go on top of the bag checklist, I'm probably gonna be uploading a video every day of this week because I have stuff I wanna show you guys, like what I'm packing, and then I'm going to do pampering myself the day before, which is will be on a Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are gonna be the vlog. So it's gonna be a video almost every day, so bear with me on this, it's gonna be a lot, but I just wanted to film everything so that you guys know what's up. And yeah, that's all for my video today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this to 20 likes if you want more story time videos. Make sure to subscribe down below because we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers by October 15th, which is my sweet 16th birthday party. My actual birthday is October 12th, in case you guys are wondering. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye.